Good morning all my beautiful fans and followers out there. Today we're going to be looking at the WGP Wonderful Green Power. It's a UPS device effectively, it's a little portable battery powered GPS. It's designed primarily for routers and mobile uh, routers, modems, anything that's sort of low voltage really. Um, if you saw my last video, it was to do with powering uh, my modem and router during a power cut. And to be fair, the battery pack that I used did very well. It lasted a good full day, uh, no problems at all. Um, but I was interested because I'm looking for something a bit more long term and I decided that I wanted to go down the, the route of having a UPS, uninterruptible power supply. And I saw this on Amazon. I'm not paid for this. I've paid for this out of my own money. Uh, I'm not affiliated with this company at all. So this isn't an advert for them. I'm just showing you what I bought and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. And we're going to see how good it is. So, there we go. That's that. I'm not going to do a massive unboxing. It's, it's already out of the box. Um, that's the box that comes in. Um, it's made in China. The company, um, Rich Rock Tech. Rich Rock Tech, I don't know. Something like that. But anyway, it's basically this. So, it's a nice handheld size. Comes with three outputs. You've got a 12 volt output there, 9 volt output, and then your USB. And then the battery levels on the side. Double click it to turn it off. You've got the input there. So presumably the power supply to the router or the modem would go into there. And then the output to your router would be that one to that bowel connector there. And I think these are all pretty much standard sizes. So there shouldn't be any issues. But should there be a conflict of size, then you've got these various... Uh, kind of barrel adapters for different sizes so uh, that's always useful to have so 12 volts that's what most routers and modems are um, the 9 volt I'm not sure where I'd use a 9 volt I think I'd rather they just had two 12 volts on there that'd be more beneficial um, USB yet yeah, potentially I could see the use in that um, you can get a few devices that are USB um, also um, you can get and I have one upstairs somewhere for some radio equipment. USB adapters that actually convert the 5.2 volts um, to 12 volts. And I've used one of those on one of my modems, 12 volt modem. So you can actually power some 12 volt modems from a USB plug. So depending on what sort of power output you get on this, what the current is like, you may be able to use that to uh, get like a book converter and pump it up to 12 to power. Alternatively, um, you could do what I did with my other battery pack and just have a splitter. So coming out of the 12 volts, you can have the, the two uh, barrel plugs. So that's something to consider. Anyway, let's go and connect this up and see how well it works. Okay, so to speed up the process, I've already plugged it in and got it wired in. But basically what we have is the uh, both of the systems here, the router and the modem, I've unplugged from the mains adapters that come with them. One of them I've used just to power the device. And then I've got the same splitter cable that I used on the last video, which is this one here, which is the one barrel plug going into the two. One's going to there, and the other one's going to there. So these two devices are now being fed from this. This is being charged and powered by the mains adapter, which is this one here. And it's showing that all four lights are illuminated. So that's all working as it should do. So fully charged, ready to go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to look at uh, simulating a power cut. It's now 28 minutes past eight. And to do that, I'm just going to unplug the mains electric. So there we go. We're now running off battery. So let's see how well that lasts. Let me just check the lights. Yeah, all the lights are still on the modem. Everything's lit up as it should be. I can see all those lights on. So it's uh, pretty much 8.30. Let's see how long this lasts. Right, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would to do this. It's now half past, just after half 11. It's, it's been on for just over three hours now. And we're now finally on the last blob. We've got one blob left. Still powering the router, still powering the internet. It's all going strong. 
um, over three hours. All right, let's see how much longer. All right, so it's just gone off. It's lasted three and a half hours. We're going down to the last blob. The router always seems to work a little bit longer than the modem does. That, that loses the signal a lot faster. Um, I need to have my system back on straight away. So I've just quickly plugged the mains back in uh, just to make this. But yeah, there you go. Three and a half hours. That's two. Uh, I think each uh, appliance is about an amp. So potentially two hours. Uh, sorry, two amps for three and a half hours. That's not bad going at all. I have to say I'm very surprised. Right, let's go and take a further look. Just a, an afterthought. First of all, I didn't tell you how much this costs. This cost me about, about 30 quid, about 30 pounds to buy off Amazon. So that's a really good price for what it can do. The second thing is I'm used to using um, UPSs for my computers upstairs. Um, they, they're okay, they last a few hours. I've got one on the CCTV system that lasts a few hours as well. Um, I just wonder, because with lead acid batteries, they don't like to be necessarily left on charge constantly. How well do these batteries last? And is the technology really that new where we don't know how well it lasts being left on charge constantly? Um, the type of battery this takes is the 18650. 18650, yeah. So will that last? Will that get damaged over 12 months of continuously being on charge? I don't know. If you know, let me know. I'll be very interested to find out. Because if this will stand being left on charge for over a year without being used, then uh, that's great. But I don't know. I'm not uh, that knowledgeable about them. So let me know in the comments below if you can uh, tell me whether that's likely to last or not. Just another quick idea. So we have, this is a typical setup for the average user, okay? We've got the mains power supply. Now I'm using this just because it's convenient, but plugged into the mains, goes straight to the UPS, which is charging that and powering your devices. From here, the output goes to the input on your router modem and everything's working hunky-dory. Suddenly you get a power cut. So power cut simulated just by unplugging that. No more power going to this, but this is now providing power for its batteries, keeping that alive. Get rid of that. So what can we do? We know we're gonna have the power outage for quite a few hours. We know we're only gonna get about six hours on a single router with that. If you're using two routers and modems like I use, then three and a half hours I've had. Um, but you know you're gonna be out of power for a lot longer. You don't need to interrupt your power supply or your internet feed at all, using a portable battery pack like the one I showed you yesterday. Turn that on. That's now got 12 volts. Difficult to do one-handed. Plug that into there. So now, uninterrupted, you've still got power going to your router. This is now charging up via this device here. So, we're going to have the full battery power from there, plus we've got the battery power from here. So this will go for a day easily, charging this, which is keeping that going. So that's how you can have full internet or full uh, data access using a UPS. So even though it's only a small battery in there, you can make it last a lot longer.